Hey there, beautiful soul. And thank you so much for joining me here today for this video about stargates. So that may not be something that you're familiar with. It's really not a well known phenomenon, although this has been going on forever and ever. It's not really connected to astrology per se, it's connected to our galactic center and our entire quadrant of our solar system um, and beyond moves uh, with our universe um, to get close or moves into further into the Milky Way um, to get closer to our galactic center. And so it's not really something that you can measure with just looking within our own solar system because it's all moving at the same time versus when we, when we can see our other planets moving around us or us moving around the sun or whatever. Um, so this is everything moves at the same time. So it's really not something that's easy, easily measured. It's called a stargate because we have incoming light codes, frequencies coming from our sun that is the gate that we're being pulled from our star forward. So there's two things going on. We're being pulled magnetically with our star, with our sun into and further into our, our universe. And at the same time, energy is coming through the sun to us with um, what is usually known as light codes, ascension, um, uh, timelines, and things like that photonic rays and we'll just hear a bunch of different buzzwords that has to do with energy coming from our galactic center through our universe finally reaching our sun in our in our own quadrant here and then our sun is sending out those codes to the rest of the family here in our little solar system where we happen to be now these stargates are monthly they happen every single month they're 10 days plus a one day landing day that i always count because it's kind of like coming home from a, a trip you know you you're traveling that day you're landing that day and then you're acclimating that day and then the next day you're officially here in a on a new day so they're always seen as a landing day and uh but let's go back to the first so they start with january 1 1 to 110 with our landing day being on that 11th day they're always 10 days and it moves through the through the year so then two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten eleven eleven twelve twelve is our last stargate of the year landing us at the 22 mark and just last year is that was our um our solstice that was our um we were it was just a lot going on right at that time which is really you know it was just like perfect ending 2020 going into 2021 so anyway um each month we have to see ourselves starting a new set of timelines and as just as the uh, the year starts to get shorter and shorter and shorter the stargate moves further into a month so it's a shorter so it's further into so we start let's say december with those 11 days before the 12th and then we're further into the month when we have our landing day which takes us close to even the next year but throughout the whole year if you see it kind of on a scale 1 1 to 2 12 1 12 12 sorry which is our first day of, of that of that gate what we're doing is is kind of going through a funnel where january has the biggest amount of energy possibilities timelines and all of that and as we go through the year it gets it gets tighter and tighter and tighter until we get to december where it's extra tight and that's gypsy <laughs> um she's a busy little body and so uh 
so with every single gate, they provide us with a different type and set of of energies that come in. And I'm not going to go through all of them in this video um, because it's just it would take a while. I'm going to do a second video that will go into the different to the different stargates, what those specifically um, are, but the most famous stargates that I'll point out that most people know about, and still they don't recognize most, mostly anybody that I know of that I've ever heard of or seen, they don't recognize that each stargate is 10 days. So they think of like the Lion's Gate. 8-8 is every single year um, on 8-8, the Lion's Gate, because it's in the constellation of Leo. It's that's the, the time for Leo. And um and every single year on 8-8, there's this um, alignment and conjunction with us, but specifically, um, apparently, the pyramids at Giza, um, Sirius, and then our galactic center. So there's this really um, uh, physical, if you will, straight line between these two, uh, these two or three points for the lion's gate and why it is known as a thing because this is a yearly event this alignment that takes place which is really really cool so uh so that is i think the most famous of timelines and then we have the 11 11 gate in november um, but none of the other ones from from one all the way to seven and then we have um, and then we have nine, 10 and then 12 that are just missed. And not only that, like I said, with the Lion's Gate and with 1111 with that portal, with that Stargate. Um, it's just seen as a day. It's not seen as 10 days. So it's literally 10 days. And if you start to map this out for yourself, pay attention to when the stargates begin. And I'm usually pretty vocal about this on in one way or another, I'll either have guided me meditations for the stargates, other types of work done, or I'll put out articles, or I mean, I, I'm mentioning each month's stargate in some way, shape, or form. Some of them we do, um, I am guided to really get into, into more. This um, this year for, or yeah, this year for this March stargate, this 3-3 stargate, and it's known as the Ascended Master Stargate, because it has that three energy um, and and uh, with the three, three and threes are are uh, known as ascended masters numbers. But aside from just that and what that what that represents, it's meant to uh, really get us connected deeply with our internal knowing of our uh, of our ascended master. So it's really to help us connect with spirit, especially those high level and also included in ascended masters would be archangels as well. So the ascended masters stargate encompasses archangels and the connection with archangels and ascended masters with uh, with us, with humanity, but especially with um, people who um, are aware of their spirituality and spiritual awakening, they're going to feel there's so much more this year um, or this month and with this Stargate especially. So again, starting today, 3-3 three, three, through 3-13, um, there's going to be um, a set of, of circumstances for all of us individually and then collectively. So this is typically when big shakeups will happen, or big revelations, or people will just kind of, you know, for lack of a better word, lose their shit a lot of times in different ways right into a stargate because what they're meant to do is solidify deconstruct or uh, create timelines in our lives. And to do that, we need events to happen. We need revelations. We need epiphanies. We need connections to things. And so that's how that works. And so as soon as there's a stargate, it's like, oh, here we go. The energy comes out. It comes through the galactic center, through our sun. It hits our entire 
solar system. So it's not like something, it's just like, it just happens. Um, it's very something that wouldn't be um, measurable aside from the fact that the earth and our entire solar system has moved considerably in, into and closer into our universe. Um, from even just like 50 years ago, these energies have really been, you have to imagine it, like our galactic centers sending out energy to pull us in and when we get closer to the center of the light of the galactic center we receive way higher frequency um energies for our evolution our advancement our understanding our connections and everything else the further away the longer the distance the light takes to get there the uh, fuzzier it is, you know, those are the dark ages. We're entering the, the age of Aquarius or Pisces, depending on who you ask, it doesn't really matter. What it, what the situation, we call it Aquarius because that's the most well-known, but this aside from that, we have entered into a new paradigm shift into a whole new sector of the cosmos of the, of our, of our, of our placement, if you will, so closer in. And, and the reason why we, we get there is because of these monthly stargates. And you can really feel this energy um, big time if you're tapped in. And I have been tapped in with stargates um, for about five years now. So you can go back pretty far on things that I've done. My first YouTube channel, Infinite Love Light Energy, um, and, and search there for Stargate stuff. And it goes back a long way because that's when I started to, to tap into that information, get that, um, uh, get all that information. So, so with that, um, I, there was a real understanding of what happens every month. And, and if we know that these intense energies come in to really kind of shake things up, make us think about stuff, make us connect, make us, you'll see how people and, and, and situations happen and you'll go, wow, it is six hours into the stargate and look at what just went down or look at what just happened and this is um on the macro and the micro both you know so you have so it's all on all levels of what goes on with with our world with our immediate intimate world and our bigger global stage world um with the collective and what the collective is is shifting through um in a in a kind of one mind kind of way and then what we we're just doing very privately it affects everything so so i was guided to come on today to bring this out into for the collective again um just because like i said i know that a lot of people don't know about stargates um and if they do they think about them in very different ways very short and very sporadic throughout our our year um, but the fact of the matter is, is that we do have the monthly again, so it's something to think about, something to map out, something to be conscious of, because here's the real kicker. Solidifying, creating, and dissolving timelines is all about where you are energetically. So you may be thinking like, you know, on one hand that you want to be super high vibrational and happy and positive and this, that, and the other thing. And then the Stargate hits with all of these energies that really pop off a lot of things internally and in our world that make us react, that get our attention in one, in one way or another, just so quick. And so, you know, even though we say every single day, I want to be high vibrational. I don't want to be reactive. I don't, I want to be mindful. I want to be healthy and positive and loving and all these great things but yes our days come at us and you know a lot of times we'll see like wow i reacted to that and it didn't you know wasn't this or it wasn't much or whatever and then you'll see other days where like that was a big old deal and i took handle that pretty well you know we have those reactions too and because we, we're always trying to stay in the center of the board and not get knocked off uh, off our waves but what happens in a stargate 
is that the waves get stronger for us and everybody else. Our vibrations, our energies are feeling all this coming in on a very soul-based, energetic, subconscious level. And we know this is happening. So maybe consciously, most of the world doesn't understand that we're in stargates for 10 days every single month. But the fact is that we are. And when you start to map it out, and the people that have worked with me closely, um, they definitely know once they start tapping in and see and put put this together, be like, yep, this happened here, this happened here, and then this happened here. Um, it really helps it, it's like taking, you know, Dramamine before you go on a boat or an airplane or something. It's like, this is coming. Let me, oh, let me prepare kind of thing. And I always see Stargates like getting on a spaceship and just power thrusters and all this stuff coming at us. And we just have to stay the course for those 10 days until we, until the power thrusters come off and we've reached our destination and then we can power that down and then eventually land all the dust gets kicked up it takes a while for us to get our equilibrium and not feel that jet lag and get into the new set of timelines that we have because we can look back and go yeah there was things that have just ended it could be one big thing a bunch of little things decisions made for you um by you or other people you know that affect you um, it's just really hard to give and say what these different things are. Um, and I really didn't feel compelled to go back in time and say, on this day, this happened, on this day, this happened. If you're interested, go back and look at these very specific days um, every single month, every single year, uh, how they work and how they go through through the year. One, one, two, two, three, three, all the way to 12, 12, and then those 10 slash 11 days after. So again, I implore you to um, work with your system, work with your guides, work, work with your own energy, knowing a Stargate, it, we, we are starting a Stargate today. Today is 3-3-2021, um, you know, for those of us in real time. But for, for you watching this video at any other point in time, just know the next Stargate, think about your, your month and what's coming up or where you are right now. Are you in the middle of the Stargate? Is it starting in a couple of days? Um, you know, was it a week ago? What happened? Is it okay? It's coming up in a couple of weeks. What am I going to do with that? And really pay attention. Now, I will say, as we get further into the year, they get more intense because we're getting tighter and tighter with our energy as we get towards the end of the year, really needing to wrap it up and solidify energies. So we're just taking into the next year what is really viable or what we know consciously we need to dissolve. So um, so the tw so 11, so 10, 10, 11, starting about 10, 10, is October is when it starts to get more intense for sure, but it is intense every single month. Don't get me wrong because it is super intense every single month, but it tends to be more so at the end of the year uh, because of the nature of the tension of the energy, it being we're we're almost done with that with that year and we're popping out um, into a new year in just um, a couple of weeks after or yeah like if that after the 22nd of December every single month. Another thing to note is that if you were born in the Stargate, um, that is just it makes your experience for pretty much everything just much more heightened because you're connected your birth your star date of your birth is within the that energy of the of the stargate like for example my birthday is 12 13 so i was born right at i was born in the evening at, on 12 13 and so um the stargate was able to commence have a full day and then um i was born on the 13th and i've always felt this extra intensity but i didn't know what it was i thought like because i would be feeling one way and then 12 would hit 13 would hit and i just feel so 
just rocked energetically. My chakras would be acting up. Um, I would get a headache, be very tingly. Let's not forget that most of my life, I was extraordinarily sick and disabled with fibromyalgia as well before I was guided to understand about energy and heal myself in that, that one day. Um, or that one couple minute period, actually. Um, more of that story is on my website and on medium.com. I'm going to do a new video about that. I have talked about it several times, but I'm not going to get into that here. But I did go through most of my life extremely physically not well because I didn't know I was a medical medium, an empath, psychic, physical empath, any of these things that I could feel in my body, what other people feel in their bodies exactly the way they feel it. Um, and I'm also transmuting negative um, or or. I'm also negative energy to positive energy, but also healing energy without even trying. I just naturally do it. But when I try and I work on it, you know, and I'm intentional, then it's really, really potent. But for 40 something years, 43 about years of my life, I had no idea this is what I was doing. Even after I learned I was an empath, I had no idea that I was a natural healer and you know, much less doing it not consciously and feeling people's bodies in my body without understanding that that was what was going on. Um, so, so, so Stargate's on top of that was, I don't think ever a picnic, but I didn't know the difference. I just very specifically, I can't say for any other month of the year, but because it was my birthday, the end of the year, and, you know, having been for the most part of my life, not feeling well, and then really not feeling well, a lot of the time on my birthday um, was always really confusing because I don't, I love birthdays and I love getting older. So it's not like, oh, I'm so depressed because it's my birthday. I would just be like, why am I feeling so heavy or extra achy and just everything would be multiplied. Now, of course, I know it's the Stargates and it wasn't just, you know, that one month or a couple months there every single month. So to leave you with this, um, we have Stargates every single month. They're super, super intense. Different ones associate us and connect us and do things in different ways. Um, and I'll do a separate video kind of going over the different months and what they do. So look out for that. But I wanted to keep this one relatively short, and just explain that we have stargates, what they're meant to do. They're meant to create, dissolve, and solidify timelines in your life. And that is dependent on your frequency, your reactions, um, how you ma master your, your frequency and what's going on within those stargates and how you react, how the vibration that you're sending out is basically your ticket to timelines is like you're stamping your ticket going this is where i'm at this is where i'm at and then timelines are unfolding because all the the light is coming in to shift to really rework everything and get it where it's going and that works out on different planes of of um of our existence um a lot of which we have no comprehension or idea about how that all weaves together because we're all connected. All of our energies work off of each other's and um, as independent as is separate as we think it, we might appear, it's not actually like that. So your decisions, your choices, your vibrations affect my decisions, my choices, my vibrations on different levels depending on our connection. Um, and in all sorts of stuff, you know, and multiply this infinitely throughout, you know, just our world. So it's pretty, it's pretty intricate and, and can be complicated if you allow yourself to, to kind of go down this rabbit hole. So um, I suggest that you go as far into it as, as you are guided. I will tell you that, you know, Googling or looking this up in different places probably won't yield you a whole lot because it's just not something that's out there. There's very specific people that know about very specific gates and portals, and there are very specific gates and portals that we do know about and you can find. But when it comes to monthly stargates, like the I've explained to you for 10 straight days, 
other than what I've put out, I highly doubt you're going to find much on that. So it's up to you to use your discernment, um, feel into what I'm saying. You can look up my information, what I've put out on my website, although I don't think I have a whole lot there, honestly. I know I have a whole lot more. I've got to put it on there, but I know I have a whole lot more on medium.com, on my medium.com, and I'll put the link below, especially starting last year for the Lionsgate. I did this whole event, and I talked about, and I do write about what I've talked about here, there. Um, and I have, like I said, done a bazillion videos over the years, um, mostly on my old channel before I started this new channel. And it's and I, I've just started getting really active with this channel, even though I've had it for quite some time. So um, so again, it's something that you're going to need to tap into with your guidance, with your um, with your inner knowing, with your soul. Ask about this stuff. It is true. Um, and uh, and and make it so it works for you that you don't get worked over by the stargates that you work the stargate because you stay on that board and you're balanced and you're paying attention to what's going on and you can see it for what it is and and it's not about perfection it's just about um uh intent so your intent if you find yourself like oh wow that thing came out of nowhere and it totally rattled me totally upset me and i exploded or this or that i got really sad or upset or anxious or worried i start worrying and that's not normally my thing and here i am or uh, blah, 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 whatever it is just stop and let it go and start off fresh and go we're in a stargate this is what's happening i'm going to maintain my vibration i'm not going to let myself get swept into something else um even if it's very directly about you we tend to um feel a lot more urgent about everything that's super personal and emotional and really you know comes in at us in different ways this could be involving your children involving your friends involving your family your job your location the weather um yeah, your pets your 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 physicality your i mean it's never ending of what it all can be that goes on just like life but it's like hyped up and it's just enough hyped up that it it's like it's like full moon energies but on a whole other level um and and so it's just something to really think about really really consider and um a lot of times for stargates i do put out very specific stargate meditations um and i i kind of thought i was going to be doing that um but it's really interesting what we've done this i've done a lot more work privately for the stargate um and then then putting things out globally i have been putting out a lot of meditations i've kind of stopped for about a week and a half because of other stuff going on and people needing to kind of catch up but i have a lot of meditations coming for this entire stargate i'm starting either tonight or tomorrow the three three actually i'll be doing one or it's going to drop on four four um we'll We'll see here. I think I'll be doing one tonight though. And, um, but then I'll be, I have a long list and it's ever developing of new meditations coming out for self healing on for very specific and different things. So please, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell. So you know, when these meditations come out, so you can stay on top of them and do them as they, as they come out or as close to it as possible it is best for you, but they are, um potent and important and just as effective any time that you do them so if i put out a meditation on 3 9 and you're not seeing it till 3 20 don't don't think that you've missed the boat because you haven't time isn't linear it it's a web and whenever you do anything um with intention of con of connecting or connecting to a specific point in time you're connected to that specific point in time it's it's pretty simple when it comes to energy it's like whoop, like that <laughs> um it with intention so so anyway i hope that 
this gave you some um, insight on star dates and that you'll be paying attention to the energies, mapping them out for yourself, just starting now, starting today, if you're watching this on 3-3 or 3-4, whatever it is that you start to think about just for yourself, just pay attention to the energies, what's going on around you and, and see what happens at the end and then see what happens next month and next month and next month and pay attention to these 10 slash 11 days and I promise you, you will see a pattern of what goes on when and how the energies kind of ramp up to it, have the stargate and then get into this like settling period before the next one. And in between there, we have our moons, our full moons, our, our new moons and the whole phases. Those usually correspond in some way, like coming up in, for example, coming up in March, we have our new moon on the 13th. So that's like a, a, a real strong indicator that, you know, new moon ending the stargate, starting off with this, with this cycle here and, and ramping up the energies um, going into the next full moon, which is on the 28th of March. We also have the equinox, which is in March. It's also part of the whole, like the ascended masters uh, stargate is that equal that equal time with the equinox to get us in balance and equal as much as we can as as above so below as the the yin and the yang the female and the divine masculine coming to the divine feminine divine masculine the female and the masculine the divine feminine the divine masculine um coming together in a more um instead of thinking of it like I have this side and I have this side, it's supposed to be blended together. And so this portal, this, I, I tend to use this two words for the same thing, portal and Stargate for this same, two words, same thing, but they can mean different things, which is extra confusing. So I apologize if I've said portal and Stargate, same thing. Um, but you can you can really see that um, in a for for what it is when you're when you you know pay attention to that to that time period and and what else is going on around then um, that that takes place full moons and and uh, and new moons and things like that. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my uh, latest offerings. I did do a epic deep dive uh, divine masculine uh, reading the other day uh, for March. So you didn't miss out if you haven't seen that yet. I split it into three parts because it is really long. The Oracle, the foundational tarot read, and then the clarifiers um, is a separate video. So there's that. And then I did divine feminine, which was pick a read, um, because what came through was that for divine feminine, for our divine feminine aspects, um, there was different things going on for different people on that level. So it was to be guided to a certain read and pick that read. So I invite you to check those out along with those other meditations that I told you about, um, clearing abundance, um, healing the money wound, um, integrating with the inner child child and healing that, which is so beautiful and amazing, um, body love and connecting and meeting your guardian angel and then releasing fear, um, pain, uh, fear, judgment, um, uh, and what was it? <laughs> fear, shame, guilt, judgment, um, unworthiness, imposter syndrome related to money, love, the unknown, and failure or mistakes. Really, really powerful meditation I invite you to do along with, I also have on my website eBooks that you can check out um, for free, totally free. Um, meditations are free. The eBooks are free. Lots of information there for you. So again, thank you for being here. I um, am glad that you uh, clicked on this video and got some information about Stargates. Please leave comments down below. Let me know um, if you've tracked this yourself, if you've come across it elsewhere other than, than with me or if it was just from a long time ago and you've been very aware of stargates ever since or this is new to you and you're excited about knowing 
about this um, this discovery with stargates and it's just meant to help you through your journey so please please share um, as as you um, are guided below again like please this video um, if you have watched all the way through and you feel that you've gained some knowledge here please share with those that would really um, benefit from knowing this which is pretty much everybody should know about these things um, and then uh, don't forget please subscribe hit the bell so you're aware of everything else that I'm doing as it comes out and happy Stargate and I'll be seeing you soon with new offerings for you Bye for now, guys. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love. Bye, guys.